Hello everyone. Today in this video, I will be playing PUBG Mobile in 5 different ways in my uh, Samsung Galaxy S21. It has Exynos 2100 and the firmware is up to date. This video is like 5 days with uh, 5 different setups. There is so many bloodwares in this device. I am going to show you all this individual bloodware and their effects on gaming. And uh, you guys asked me so much about this video, so make sure to watch till the end. As, uh, the, this video will be different than my previous video and I'm trying to make it easy to understand. I have played in 5 different ways. The first setup as basic. That means all the gaming features will be as how it will be as a store browse. Uh, all the settings are in the progressive form. I enable the game bloodware uh, one by one in each game place and everything will be disabled at the end. It is an interesting video, so make sure to watch till the end. Uh, in the f in this video, in the first setup will be Ghost enabled, without game plugins and no game booster and game launcher, no is not installed, right? In the second setup will be Ghost enabled, game launcher enabled, but game plugins not installed. And third will be Ghost enabled, and game booster also enabled. Uh, game pl plugins also enable and fourth will be everything enable but uh, ghost disable and the fifth will be everything disable all right uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel and then make sure to subscribe mm -hmm. as most interesting content is in the pipeline so let's start this video First, I play the game as its default, that means no game launcher, uh, no game booster and no game plugins. Game optimizing service is a default, so it keeps running right from the beginning. That means this is the exact setup right from the box. From the beginning, the game experience was not good. I feel very choppy. The frame rate was not holding fine. There are constantly uh, uh, frame drops, right? I wasn't experiencing well. Uh, let's look at the result. The average FPS was 50.5 FPS. That's, that's too bad. The FPS was constantly fluctuating. Out of the box, I must say that the Samsung phone is really bad for the gaming. Then I installed the game launcher. I played for the next round and of course it's the next day and next setup, right? I felt some really good experience but still it was not perfect. I think I think the game launcher is really good for the Samsung device uh, because I can feel that uh, it's more, more FPS is more constant than the previous result. Let's see the result. The average FPS was 54.6. It showed really good result than not having a game launcher. To be honest, I really like the game launcher and I strongly recommend uh, everyone to have it. Uh. Let's go another round. Of course, it was another day. Here I install game plugins. All, almost every bloodware is enabled. I said game plugins set up as my preferences, right? That means max FPS performance mode to power saving in the Game Booster Plus. While gaming in this setup, surprisingly I feel better than the before. The performance was also good. Uh, there was slightly FPS drops where there were near opponents. I really really think it, uh, the, uh, the result will be much more better. Let's see the result. Wow, the average FPS improved more. It was around 56 and it was the best than the previous uh, results, right? Other details about the result I will compare in the end. The device temperature is also normal. I usually don't focus on the temperature because this game makes this device warmer. Uh, and it can exceed more than 45 degrees celsius but it's normal for modern devices so i really really don't care let's go to another round 
Of course, it was also another day. Here I disable the game optimizing service. Remember, I only disable game optimizing service, right? The rest other features as normal. I didn't change anything in the game booster or in any game plugin setups. Personally, my preference, uh, my experience was better in that setup. Yeah, I usually always disable game optimizing service uh, because I feel really, really smooth uh, when I disable this, and there was much. There was not much uh, FPS drop when in nearby with the opponents. Of course, render effects are always high in Android devices in comparison to iOS devices. Let's check the result. The average FPS was 58. That's absolutely better condition. The average temperature is also normal, right? Um, then in the last round, I disable every bloodware. That means I disable gas, game plugins, a launcher, and everything related to the games. But I haven't disabled game driver because uh, I think game driver is really uh, helpful for this device. Personally, while playing this game, I didn't feel any differences. Yeah, I, I was quite surprising. I thought like it will, the performance will be different, but it seems that there is no differences. It wasn't bad at all like the gameplays in the beginning of this video where I uh, show you the initial uh, gaming out from the box. I just think that uh, by disabling GOS, the performance improved really well while playing game. Anyway, I played almost similar timing to another setup like before. Here is the result. The average FPS was 56.4. That means disabling because can change pretty everything on gaming performance on Samsung Exynos devices. Right? Uh, let's compare every result. Disabling GOS is really helpful. Game optimizing service can really manipulate the performance of the devices. It is better to avoid it. Right? According to this result, disabling GOS but enabling all the gaming features can be beneficial for the devices. If you do not know about game plugins, then I have a content about it in my channel. Make sure to watch it. Disable GOS only setup consumes more CPU power according to the result, but who really cares, right? If you can get more FPS then. If you check the result uh, carefully, then after disabling the game optimizing service, the game consumes more CPU usage than enabling game optimizing services. We can say that GOS really controls the CPU to its minimum limits. The battery consumption is also almost similar. I think this is not so important as topic, to be honest, in this uh, game test. All right, in the end, in the end, according to the result, game optimizing service actually limits the CPU usage. I cannot check the GPU uses so far, I cannot say anything right now. For the best result until now for the Samsung device is to disable GOS and enabling all the gaming system features for really really smooth gaming, right? I hope, I hope this video helps you out. If it does, make sure to like and subscribe. If you have any question, leave it in the comment section. Until then, see you all, see you soon.